Hey, hey, what is up? Diane Sykes here. Quick training. I actually uh, was on a client call earlier today with uh, an amazing leader and client and also a relatively new mommy with a three-year-old and one-year-old and actually almost four-year-old. And something came up and I felt like I have to share this out because this is so powerful and so helpful, I think, for so many leaders, especially us mama leaders. And it's the conversation we often have around sleep. And as a physiologist, this comes up a lot in my practice, um, lack of sleep, and then just coming up with a lot of external like tips to get better sleep, right? Like, Make sure your room temperature is cool. Make sure that you have, you know, no electronics near you. Um, lots of other tips, really like tangible things, things to do in the morning, getting more vitamin D, doing grounding exercises, making sure that you have enough of a cortisol spike in the morning so that you can then um, shelf that, that can then start to lower in the afternoon, which is when it should. So we move toward dusk and then you get that surge of melatonin and you start to produce those sleep hormones properly and that you're in a good rhythm. That's all great. And I can go and I can list out all of these wonderful sleep tips, all these things, tick boxes that you can check off to do. And here's what I'm going to offer now, which is something completely on the other side, which is going internal. Because here's the thing, better sleep Really, you have all that you need already inside of you. And I'm going to start with the simplest example of peeing. Now, for years, it drove me crazy, especially after I had my daughter, that I would get up two, three times a night to go to the bathroom, up until, you know, very recently. And what I personally went on a journey with was really, you know, and I, like, I love to be my own experiment. As a scientist, I love that, right? Because it's really, it's like magic. I get to explore and I get to just guess and figure stuff out on myself. So um, what I decided to do was make an internal shift. When I go to sleep at night, I have a ritual. I have a nighttime practice and I set very clear intentions and I do an energy clearing and I make sure that when I go to sleep, I'm not stewing in my own juices. I make sure I clear out any unresolved issues from the day. I simply sit in silence after I do my journaling and I just reflect and I ask myself, are there any feelings that I suppressed today? Is there anything that um, I didn't hear from myself today? Like anything that I that wasn't heard today? And I clear that and I make peace with it and I surrender and I, and I actively appreciate what's in my life right now. And then I visualize you know, exactly the life that I'm calling in and I go to sleep and I know that I am stirring in those joy juices all night long, that my cells are literally basking in the joy of what I've just created in my mind and I've, and I've closed the chapter on any, any negativity, any unresolved issues, any suppressed feelings. I'm bringing those to the surface and I'm healing on them, working through them before I go to bed. Now, it's a very clear intention that I set. So I decided that I was also going to set the intention to not pee at night. So this is all just soul work. And here's what I did. I set an intention and I said two things. I said, first, I, I pictured my bladder and I said, bladder, you are elastic. You are expansive and you can contain and hold all the fluids that I create during my sleep. Thank you so much for being so supportive. Then I set an intention. And the intention was starting with gratitude. Thank you so much, kidneys. I know you're on my side. And my intention is that this vessel needs to be at peak existence. So every cell of my body needs to be restored, which means I need an uninterrupted night of sleep. And every one of my organs and systems is in alignment knowing that this vessel that I create has to be restored and replenished. So deep sleep is what I ask for. And guess the F what? 
every freaking night that I set that intention, I sleep through the night like a baby. And I'll tell you something else. When I forget, when I'm caught up in some other intentions or I get too caught up in my visualization and I forget to do it, I have to get up and pee. See, the point is this. It's a simple decision, right? Somewhere along the line, I decided that I can't hold my pee all night, which, you know, as a kid, forget it. I'd go 15 hours, no problem, you know? Then I'd drink water right before bread, break all the rules. And then I took on, I adopted the belief that I have to go to the bathroom every 45 minutes during the day and at night. And you know what? You can get in and you can talk to yourselves and you can literally redesign. So your body is your vessel. It's your tool. So when you are thinking thoughts, and getting into an alignment with your body and you're letting your soul speak through your intuition and those three operating systems, soul, body, mind, are in alignment, life is pretty grand. No peeing at night means a deeper sleep. And deeper sleep means better leadership. Better leadership means impacting more lives, making more income, having better health, is the container for that. You feeling me on this? I hope so. If so, drop me a few love bombs. Um, so yeah, I felt really compelled to share that. And it's the same thing with um, new moms. If you are exhausted at night and you go to bed like with this feeling of my daughter or my son is going to keep me up all night or I'm only going to get three hours of sleep. And I could do a whole training on this. In fact, comment below if you want me to do a, a radical like nighttime energy clearing training, hit me up because I would totally riff off on that and share that. That would be a super fun training to do. In fact, let me know and I will definitely do that. Um, but just one little piece on this topic is if you're going to bed and you're stewing in the juices of, I don't get enough sleep, then that's exactly what you're programming yourselves for oh, we don't get enough sleep. We better not get in too deep because we're going to have to wake up. I'm never going to get enough rest. And when you go to sleep with that, with that thought in your head, you could sleep for 12 hours or two hours. You're going to wake up exhausted because that's what you went to bed with. So why not choose differently? Why not choose to say, it doesn't matter the length of time that I'm sleeping. Because for some of us new moms, that is just a reality that maybe it is only three hours. So it doesn't matter. Forget the length of time. Forget the seven to eight hours. Forget that that's ideal. And just say, for the amount of time that I sleep tonight, I am going to restore and replenish and renew every cell of my sexy body so I wake up at peak existence and then offer up some gratitude to it and feel that. If you want to feel peaceful and restored and renewed when you wake up, feel into that before you go to bed. Hit me in the comments. Let me know if you want me to do a full, like, internal, energy-clearing, rewiring, nighttime sleep ritual. That would be super fun. All right. I hope this was helpful. Let me know. And if it is, and you feel like there's somebody in your life that needs to hear this, please share this out. I would love nothing more than for every single mama and leader to get enough freaking sleep so that we can be at our best, which is what we deserve because we are worth it. Anyway, much love. Peace out. Happy Thursday.